continuing where we left off. Conductive hearing losses are when the air conduction pathway is impaired. So that means either the outer ear or the middle ear or somewhere in both of them are impaired. So there's a problem conducting the sound through to the inner ear. The bone conduction pathway is functioning normally. So the loss is due to a decrease in the strength of the sound whenever there is a barrier present in the outer or the middle ear. For example, a blockage in the ear canal or fluid in the middle ear. So conductive hearing loss occurs in the outer ear or the middle ear. When sound is put in through bone conduction, it bypasses the obstacle, it goes directly to sensory neural mechanism, and the bone conduction scores are normal. Because testing by bone conduction bypasses the outer ear or the middle ear. So a conductive hearing loss occurs in the outer ear or the middle ear. A sensory neural hearing loss occurs in the inner ear or the auditory nerve. When testing by air conduction, the scores will be abnormal for a conductive hearing loss, but the bone conduction scores will be normal because the bone conduction tests the cochlea and the beyond. So a conductive hearing loss occurs when a sound wave do not reach the inner ear at their full strength. A sensory neural hearing loss occurs when the sound waves are not processed correctly. Remember, the cochlea is the hearing organ. The sensory neural hearing loss. If the disturbance producing the hearing loss is situated in some portion of the sensory neural mechanism, then a hearing loss, as measured by air conduction, will result. So when, you're test when there's a sensory neural hearing loss, you're also going to have abnormal air conduction scores because the air conduction pathway tests both the outer, middle, inner ear, and beyond. With a sensory neural hearing loss, you're also going to have abnormal bone conduction scores because bone conduction tests sensory neural mechanism, the cochlea. So with sensory neural hearing loss, there's a problem in the inner ear. Your air conduction scores are abnormal and your bone conduction scores are abnormal. There is the same amount of abnormality for air conduction and bone conduction scores when you have a sensory neural hearing loss. Even though the air conduction pathway is clear, there's a hearing loss in the bone conduction pathway, the inner ear or the auditory nerve. With a mixed hearing loss, you have a problem occurring in the outer portion and the inner portion. So it's got a problem in both areas. With a mixed hearing loss, your air conduction scores are very bad and your bone conduction scores are bad. Your air conduction scores come across two problems, a problem in the conductive mechanism and a problem in the sensory neural mechanism. That's why they're very bad. Your bone conduction scores are abnormal because of the cochlea. There's one problem in that sensory neural mechanism. So mixed hearing loss has two problems, a problem in the conductive area and a problem in the sensory neural area. So this is what I just said. There are two problems with the mixed hearing loss, one in the conductive portion and one in the sensory neural portion.